Well, hello everyone, my name is Prime, and welcome back to another episode of ATS Showcases, and boy oh boy am I excited. This is the Montana DLC, my friends. Huge thanks to SES Software for giving me early access to the Montana DLC, and boy oh boy is this DLC an absolute beauty. We are here in Helena, and we're going to be heading up to Lewiston today, so not a crazy long delivery, but a good one indeed. We're hauling some concrete tubes on our Load King Drop Deck Aluminum Trailer, and of course, I'm here in the Western star 57x because why wouldn't i so let's go ahead and get this western star 57x started and get rolling now keep in mind as i mentioned this is an early access build so things could be still in a work in progress stage so if you happen to notice something that isn't quite in the, the ordinary do not freak out SCS software probably already knows about it oh we better not crash we're just starting in a brand new dlc and the last thing we want to do is crash already there could be things that uh, are going to be fixed for the actual release, so keep that in mind when you are watching this video. Uh, but we're going to head left out of here and get out of Helena. It's going to be a little bit of both, a uh, both highway and a little bit of country road, or what I just call just standard two-lane road. This, is, this delivery is going to have a little bit of both, so I think it's a good mix to show off uh, this area of the DLC, and it is a really nice area indeed. And as I mentioned, I was so thrilled to get an email from SCS Software saying uh, that, here, here's the Montana DLC. Do some early access content and have fun. Uh, so that is truly incredible. Thank you guys so much at SCS Software. Love you guys. It's absolutely amazing to be sitting here in the Montana DLC doing some early access content for you guys. And it gives you a good chance to see, do you want to actually get the Montana DLC whenever it actually releases? Which, hopefully when you're watching this video, is the following day. It depends on how long YouTube decides to process this thing. But nonetheless, hopefully you guys see this sooner than later, and it will give you a good chance. Do you think you should buy the Montana DLC? Now, personally speaking, yes. I mean, I, I'm guess biased so i guess you know take take it with a grain of salt i get every dlc that um SES software releases just because i always find that it is money well spent you are never going to be disappointed and over here in montana i think the detail so far and i haven't really been around at all i just picked up uh the, these concrete tubes there because i did quick teleport to helena from i guess my home base is in salt lake city this this area is incredible there's there's no complaints from me i mean it the the map is truly incredible you've got a wide variety of areas to visit we've seen it from the blog post i've already seen it uh so far we've got highways we've got just smaller roads you've got mountain mountainous roads which i'll have to do very very soon which of course will be the next episode i'll try and move around the map to give you guys some uh, different areas so if you are on the fence about getting the montana dlc well i guess there is no real rush well there isn't there there's no real rush to get it uh, but i think a lot of you will be getting it right away because this is a really nice expansion we've got multiple cities i'll just uh, pause here look at this map okay like we've seen this already a little bit before i see software did uh, officially release the map not too long ago in a blog post but there are crazy amounts of connecting roads, highways, many different towns. I believe 14, if I'm, if I'm correct. It could be 12. Um, but there are 14, I do believe, uh, cities here. And there's a great variety of areas to visit along with through uh, the Yellowstone National Park and stuff like that. Whole whack of viewpoints around here too. So keep an eye out very soon for the cinematic map tour, uh, which uses the viewpoints. I guess it is technically a spoiler video. I mean, take it as you will, but it gives a great view of what the DLC has to offer. And I don't know why the game got me to go over there uh, when I had to come back here over here anyway. So don't mind that GPS. I mean, Montana DLC. Look, look at this. I'm just going to go exterior view. I guess cinematic view that also works. Look at that beauty of a sun or of a mountain range right there. I guess I guess they technically class that as mountain, not just hill. But I mean, the area around here in Montana is truly incredible, and uh, I am so excited to finally be driving here in it. And of course, with this Western Star 57X, if you haven't seen my last ATS showcase video, well, that you should probably check that out. That was my first look at the Western Star 57X, and. Say what you want about the truck if it's, you know, very similar to some of the other ones because it's just a, for example, Freightliner with a different hood, but it's, you know, it's a Western Star. Take it as you will. I am just happy to have another truck in ATS and same going for Montana. 
it's just great to have another DLC, another expansion. That being said, this expansion is truly incredible. Same with the truck. But the expansion is truly incredible to have new territory to explore. New, well, I guess technically with Montana, it brings new cargoes as well. But 1.45 brought those updates uh, and different cargoes. Unfortunately, I couldn't take one of those cargoes today because I was trying to keep the episode relatively shorter just so then it can get up to you guys hopefully uh, earlier than later because I do want this to be as early access, I guess, gameplay uh, as possible compared to just releasing on uh, coming out to you guys on release day. That doesn't really work for early access, now does it? But nonetheless, I mean, it is great to have Montana finally in my pesky little YouTuber hands. Uh, my pesky virtual hands, I guess that is. And it is great to be exploring this area. And I have so much content planned for Montana. If you can't tell by my voice, I'm just so excited. Some things may not come out very smoothly and may be a tad awkward. Well, that is just pure prime happiness. That is it. I've, I've seen quite a few comments when it comes to uh, you guys, and I love it seeing uh, your different reactions to things, especially the things that I do. But some of the funniest ones I find are when Prime's happy, I'm happy, and there you go. If, if you think I'm happy, you're probably happy all the time when it comes to these games, which is probably a good thing to do, because if not, you wouldn't be really following it, wouldn't it? But well, we're going fast to be doing cinematic cam. Maybe we'll just do chase cam here for a little bit. Um, but I mean, this is just a beautiful area to be exploring. I mean, this is only the highway section too. Keep that in mind. And I guess this is, I guess you would class a little bit more of a plains area of the map. I'm honestly not quite too sure. Uh, and that's going to be come with a little bit of time here of exploring the DLC and getting to know Mo the Montana geography a little bit better than I do regrettably right now. Where are the different areas? If you happen to know, let me know. Um, I obviously kind of know where the more mountainous areas are. Uh, that's a little bit more given, give, uh, judging by, you know, uh, some of the blog posts and also my knowledge of some of the national parks. But where are, you know, some of the more plains, some of the more forest areas? Kind of let me know about that because I really want to uh, have those key, uh, key points, I guess you could say, and have that knowledge so then I can diversify in my videos so and that way uh, although I'm exploring multiple different areas you know what it's great to it, it's it's going to be great to have those little bit that little bit of prior knowledge just so then when I'm choosing stuff it's a little bit more diverse so it's not I guess regurgitated content you could class it as but with the Montana DLC I mean although as of recording this video hasn't been confirmed um, yet but I'm sure well, probably by the time you're watching this video, it, there has been a blog post. Have I already missed my turn? New DLC, missed my turn, big shock, eh? Now that, my friends, is what you call a classic Prime move. <laughs> For those who've been around a while, that is not new, but... Let's continue on here, and hopefully I don't miss another turn. I mean, big shock. Kind of kind of a bit of a tradition there with uh, some of these DLCs. New DLC, still can't manage to navigate. I'm just too distracted on all the good stuff uh, that is to come with this DLC and future as well. Oh man, I'm like, so excited to get to the content that I want to do now. Having Montana DLC has just opened up a whole new window of stuff. Oh, we've discovered Great Falls. Lovely stuff. Anyways, what I was going to say is that the Cruising Montana event, uh, although it hasn't been confirmed as of recording this video, I'm very much sure will be confirmed by the time you guys go to watch this video. The Cruising Montana event is going to be similar, uh, as far as I know, just to many of the other DLC releases. I'm just going off of the past multiple that uh, have released since the Cruising events have come into the uh, the ATS and ETS2 world whenever a new map DLC comes out. I'm sure you'll be able to explore then if you want to do those uh, th those community events. The exploring will be not a problem because those events uh, you kind of have to go to every town, take a delivery tour from any of the towns anyways. So you better believe that I will be doing that. Uh, so the, over the next few uh, ATS showcase videos, that will be kind of going to go going towards those uh, deliveries there it will be whether it's freight market or cargo market as long as it's part of the external market um, kind of class it does not matter it will go towards it as long as you have your profile synced with the world of trucks but for any of you who actually participate in the world of trucks events that's all probably set up already 
And you will notice whenever the Montana DLC does officially release, there will be an update to ATS. And then, of course, whether you actually buy the DLC or not, there'll be uh, stuff that goes on there. But that's going to be the coolest thing, I think, with the Montana DLC, being able to explore the different areas. And I think more than ever, the cruising event uh, that, well, I guess to be confirmed, but probably confirmed when you guys are watching this video, is going to be a really handy thing to complete. Besides just having fun exploring the new DLC, being able to see the beautiful areas firsthand uh, in the trucks and doing the deliveries as well, and just kind of forcing us to go to these different areas, I think will be really quite neat. Ah, uh, there's a water tower over there. Cool stuff. That's what I'm noticing around the Montana DLC, besides the crazy amount of detail just about everywhere. Um, the, it, the towns just feel more complete. I don't know if that's just me, or if that's something I've noticed within the last few DLCs, but especially the Montana DLC as well. The towns just feel so much more realistic. Uh, they have the features that you would expect to have in a town. You have the processing plants, you have commercial housing, and also just utilities as well as the water tanks. Something that you wouldn't think is crazy detailed wise uh, and it's something I guess that was pointed out I believe in a blog post for Montana if not it was for uh, the Texas DLC. I'm getting stuff crossed up because I just got a whole whack of happiness thoughts when it comes to ATS uh, floating around my prime mind here uh, but nonetheless just something that I've noticed as driving here and when I got to Helena itself was just the town felt well, I mean, very, very realistic for a sense of what a town should have, the characteristics that they should have. Although I've never been to, I guess, Helena, for example, or Great Falls here in real life, as I guess that's regrettably. There's a fender bender. What? Is that new? Do AI just crash into each other now? These are not just crashing into me, but you guys saw that, right? They just had a legitimate fender bender at the red light. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> that, like I said, Jeep or something behind just went way too hot into the uh, into the corner and just rammed the life out of the car in front. I mean, that's hilarious. Whether that's just an early access bug or not, I'm not going to pin it on SES software. That is, um, that is hilarious. I I'd actually want to see that more. Um, the, I don't know if that's something that's been in the game uh, for a while or if that's something new, but. Having the AI actually get into accidents occasionally is actually something that's quite hilarious and I wouldn't mind to see a little bit more to be honest with you. Uh, sometimes you just feel like the AI is either crashing into you or you're the one causing all the accident in the world, uh, in, the, in the ATS world. But having the AI actually have some issues themselves uh, besides what they normally do uh, is actually quite neat. And I creeped a little bit forward there. Still getting used to this 57X, although I should be kind of used to it considering what it is very similar to in the game and what some of my most favorite trucks are, but we won't mind that. But it's handling this very heavy load as well. It's only got a 12-speed transmission. That's the only stuff that uh, this truck comes with, uh, but it is, it is handling it just fine. I mean, it's got a 600 horsepower engine, uh, and it's a big Detroit engine as well, so... Uh, not just horsepower wise, it's a huge leader, uh, apparently. From what I've been filled in on when it comes to the Detroit, I think it's the DD16 that I'm running. Um, it is a very large motor. Um, it's DD15 or 16, one of the two. Um, it is a very large motor uh, when it comes to leaders as well. Uh, so it is a. Uh, it's a big it's a big boy engine so it can definitely handle it even if the transmission isn't in 18 speed i guess these concrete tubes i mean they're hollow but they're still concrete tubes and they're reinforced with rebar and stuff so i would not imagine that they're completely light uh, but look at this area here i mean it's kind of hurt because some would say oh well it's pretty basic it's just you know mountains and stuff but that's realistic that's what some of them are they're just kind of like a meadowing uh, like a meadow hill um, there's really not a whole lot to it, to be honest with you. It's just kind of the way it is. Now, are we going to get called into the way station? We are. Now, where is the way station? I haven't seen it yet. It's got to be up here somewhere. And it looks like there's a spot off to the side. Uh, so I'm going to assume, yep, there is a way bridge in there. So we're going to turn left into the inspection station, uh, which is something that you're going to notice a lot more in the Montana DLC, uh, more than ever. 
the way stations aren't just a pull off on the side of the road as in like a ramp you sometimes actually have to pull into these areas and i think there's the way bridge over here is so we gotta spin around here head around the loop uh but it's, so it's very neat in that sense it's a little bit more off the beaten pass i guess you could say and uh i actually really like it it's a little it's a little bit more realistic and well i mean there are way bridges on the side of the road i guess the other ones are realistic as well but it is nice to have a little bit more of just in a rest area off to the side that's your uh that's your inspection station Seventy-seven thousand pounds that is a pretty heavy load if you ask me uh, so let's go ahead and continue on our journey here i honestly don't know how long this video is going to be i'm not trying to rush it um but i also want to like i mentioned right or er, i at the beginning of the video I want to get it out to you guys uh, so that it's as early access as possible I mean I'm not gonna lie I'm almost so excited that my commentary is probably suffering at times and I'm maybe not focusing as on it as much as I should be but that's what you get when you are excited and, it, and that's what you get when you have a lot of stuff think, going around your brain of stuff you want to say but you don't want to spoil it yet either which is what I'm dealing with right now people anywho let's get off my prime blabbering and just enjoy some montana dlc goodness here as we go across the countryside towards lewiston so we're not too far out now but this area is just incredible and i mean i don't even have the highest end rig either so if you're expecting uh, if you want to see the basically be end all of the amazingness of this dlc that had made no sense but basically if you want to see it maxed out um if you have a great rig, then definitely try it out yourself and you'll be very much impressed. I wish I could run stuff native 4K and or even 1440p for that matter. Um, I just don't have the system for it, don't have the graphics card for it, that's for sure. Um, as much as I'd like it, it, it's just not feasible at this moment. But even still, it just proves how great this DLC is. And uh, it's an amazing thing to be able to drive through finally. And just stuff like this. Having the train running parallel with the road without going on coming with a cement mixer. That would not, <laughs> that'd be not, that would not be a good end to my day. Uh, but yeah, it is just an incredible, incredible DLC so far. And I, I barely even scratched the surface at this point of what the, the DLC has to offer. And uh, I'm very excited to go on to some of the other stuff. You know, sometimes it's good just to admire the the surrounding without having to listen to me yabber along, but occasionally I then can't drive while doing it, apparently. I was... <laughs> some Sometimes I, I surprise myself on how bad I can maintain a lane, but if, if you, you can't knock it until you try it. For those who say, oh, well, you could just try and keep it between a lane when you're doing cinematic next year, camera. Try it for yourself, people. <laughs> try, and, try and carry on a conversation, or even not, for that matter, and just try and keep it within a lane it is a whole to do i've gotten pretty good at it but my word some days are just better than others and i think today i'm just so uh, i don't want to say flustered but just got as i mentioned kind of earlier just so many things going on um so many exciting things and i that's just i need to go straight through what am i doing zigzagging around all these different places and just these little areas these are all the things i'm trying to absorb and maybe that thing i'm just I've got sensory overload here. I've got early access to a brand new DLC that looks truly incredible. Driving a new truck, hauling a great delivery just across many different areas. This is just way too much for my sensory. <laughs> way too much for me to try and handle while carry on a conversation here. This is amazing. Love it. I think we're getting quite close to Lewiston now, uh, so hopefully we can get this uh, video wrapped up and hopefully I don't get in an accident. So I've missed a turn, I've had many issues with stuff. Uh, oh here we are, we're right by our delivery point here. 
Lewiston discovered. Beautiful. I'm already at 3 of 15 for the last best place, uh, which I believe is a new Steam achievement as well. Um, wait, is that the last best place? I don't know. For some reason, that doesn't make sense. I may have read that wrong. I didn't really look at it that long. Um, there's lots of achievements, apparently, with the Montana DLC. I guess we'll find that out very soon. Do I have to drive straight through, or do I have to reverse in here? Or Actually, it's around the side of the building. Did I miss my drop-off point? Maybe I have to come around this way? Hopefully, it wasn't right out by the beginning, because if so, that's going to stink. I think I did miss it. Where do I have to go? Oh, right in there. Well, actually, this is quite handy. Spinning around the building allows me... Oh, try not to crash into the fence prime. That would be great. Oh, this is not going to fit. Oh, this is this is not good. Okay, let's try, try and get this completed here without absolutely demolishing the load. So we're going to have to try and uh, test the turning radius of this 57X here. Try and swing this trailer problem is i'm using one of the longest well I'm, i am using the longest drop deck trailer you can use uh, we're gonna have to ride the curb here a little bit try and get this thing around the corner there we go curb never hurt anyone using one of the longest trailers to try and go through the smallest bits that's the wrong button getting all my buttons crossed up that's not good now, I will not lie, I've had a bit of a recording spree here, If and if and maybe that's... Oh, that, oh, come on, you can go backwards. Thank you. Um, that may be why, and I should probably do this interior so I don't get roasted in the comments. Um, I, that could be why that my commentary is starting to lack a little bit here. Uh, I'm now pushing on quite a few hours uh, in a very small section of recording um, between Prime News and uh, past ATS Showcase and now... Um, early access build. This has definitely been a test of my mental capabilities uh, in doing this, but we're going to stop complaining about that because I am in the Montana DLC and you are watching an early access content. This is truly incredible to say that I am doing this. Uh, I'm, I'm truly honored to be able to be in this position. Never in a million years would I uh, would have thought I would have been doing this, at least already, uh, in how the stage of the channel is. I'm ultimately grateful for SES Software and their amazing team uh, and their amazing community management team. They're, they're truly incredible. There's no other way to say it. And the Montana DLC definitely resembles that amazing team at SES Software, along with this beautiful 57X as well. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.